Hi, I'm Denise Gagne and I'm here today to talk a little bit about assessing rhythm reading, writing, ear training and dictation. So I'm starting with Bloom's taxonomy because what we want to do is we want to get the kids up to the higher level of thinking. But before we can do that, we need to make sure that they're actually remembering, understanding and able to apply. So in terms of rhythm reading, naming the rhythms as Ta and Titi or whatever rhythm names you use is the most basic level of understanding. Reading rhythms with a steady beat would show that they understand this. Applying would be playing the rhythms in the context of a piece. So let's look at some specific ideas. One is rhythm flashcard attendance. And here, I have used these for years and years. They're color-coded flashcards, colored according to what level you're doing. And these are just fabulous. So if I was going to do rhythm flashcard attendance, I might hand each of the students a flashcard as they walk into my classroom. And then each student reads a flashcard. Or I simply hold the flashcards up and I say, one, two, ready, go. And the first student reads and I put it away. Next student. And if I run out of flashcards, I can just pick them up and do them over again. And here's a simple rubric that you can use for assessing your students. A level four would be accurately and fluently claps and says the pattern with a steady beat. A level three, mostly accurate, mostly fluent, and a mostly steady beat. Number two, we're getting to the somewhat range where they're somewhat accurate, somewhat fluent, and the beat may not be completely steady. And a level one, the student has many inaccuracies in clapping or saying and is not able to keep a steady beat. So here and choose. Again, I can do this with rhythm flashcards. There's other ways that I'll show you in a minute but I simply put the flashcards down on the thing. I clap one, you choose the pattern that I clapped. And if the students correctly select this, that tells me that they can hear and start applying what they've learned. So that's hearing and choosing. I take this one step further into a game that I call Allegro versus Vivace. I divide the class into two teams. This side is the Allegros. This side is the Vivacis. So the Allegros, and I'll hide the card so that the Vivacis can't see it. The Allegros job is to correctly clap this card. One, two, ready, go. And they'd clap without saying the rhythm names because it's the Vivacis job to listen to them clap and then say what they clapped. So if they correctly say, ti, 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 ta, ta, the Vivacis get a point. So Allegro's get a point for correctly saying the rhythm or clapping the rhythm. Vivace's get a point for correctly saying the rhythm. And I can usually make it work out so that by the end of class, we have a tie. So there's peace on the flight round when they go out to play. There's a lot of rhythm assessments at musicplayonline.com that you can use. There's a reading assessment, which rhythm did I hear game, and a dictation assessment. There's also activities at musicplayonline um, to have students create rhythms, which if you remember back to the Bloom's taxonomy, that's the highest level of thinking skills and that's where we want to get the students. So I'm going to escape here and I'm going to go to Music Play Online and show you some of these fabulous assessment tools. So on the left menu is Rhythm Practice. If I click into Rhythm Practice, and I go to assessments. Remember on the site, command plus, command minus makes it bigger or smaller. So here I have a rhythm reading assessment. So I can do the stemless, which in my flashcards look just like this. That was my easiest level. Or I can choose the ones with no hits. But let's just choose a very simple reading assessment. This is made so there's enough patterns for 25 students. Ready, so, go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. Ready, go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Next child. Ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. Student four. Ta, ti, 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 ta. So these will keep going for 25 patterns. So if you have your class stand in class list order, you can have your class list in hand and simply go through and go check, 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 check. If you've got students that need a little bit more time, simply pause in between and they'll get a little bit more time to do this. So the easiest level, there's no rests. 
and there's no rests here as well. Follow us on Facebook. Music Play Teachers Group on Facebook is great or like our Facebook page Music Play. Follow us on Instagram, hashtag Music Play Online. Follow us on Pinterest and follow our YouTube channel. Thank you.